good afternoon everyone good evening i am dilmeet kaur founder of riches multi services live from the page of riches multi services once again uh, today our guest is mr shekhar shivastav he is a doctor i really want to uh, say a quote which remembers us about the famous and great doctor and which is uh, really very suitable on you sir a good physician treats the disease the great physician treats the patient who has the disease and uh, since i am in contact with you i can really feel the difference so let me uh, introduce dr shekhar shivastu with you all he is the founder of prime specialty clinic we already have a startup story live session about it Uh, a few days before also a consultant for various prestigious hospitals like max hospital and shanti mohan hospital in new delhi a very warm welcome to you sir thank you thank you and thank you for the introduction and i'm also a senior consultant at sant parmanand hospital which is at civil ansia so that is the area where i operate mostly Uh, but my clinic is at a uh, prime specialty clinic drug clinic okay now before we uh, go forward for the our next discussion or the topic for today's session i really want to uh, tell you on the website address you can always log on to www.richesmultiservices.com for any of your queries or feedback regarding our live sessions or related to any product that the uh, and services that the company is providing and to ask other questions related to this session if you are not able to ask in the chat or the comment box you can always get in touch with uh, dr shekhar shivastav or the team of riches multi services the topic for today's session is knee arthritis which we can see is quite common in these days and uh, without even following the age or anything like that so so one by one we are going to take up the questions but before that i want you to uh, give a small introduction about prime specialty clinic and what you are doing over ah uh, thank you so uh, prime specialty clinic is uh, basically a specialty uh, orthopedic center and uh, we manage all kind of orthopedic problem uh, my main area of focus is uh, managing knee and shoulder problem and uh, we have another specialist uh, for spine problem who comes to our clinic also then uh, we have a very uh, well equipped physiotherapy center because you understand that for orthopedic patients physiotherapy is very important to get uh, good results Along with that, uh, we have all our diagnostic facility for like X-rays and blood tests. Uh, so uh, we try to give a comprehensive care to the orthopedic patients in our clinic, and uh, it's uh, mainly for the OPD patients. And uh, for surgeries, we take them to the hospital. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. for uh, letting us know about the prime specialty clinic uh, all of us are uh, waiting for the next question uh, let me just get on to that what are the common causes of knee pain so we all know that if you see uh, in your family in your neighborhood almost every elderly patient every one in two or three patients will be having some sort of knee problem uh either they may be having knee problem while walking climbing stairs <clears throat> and sometimes if the knee arthritis is more than they have pain even at rest now if we see the causes of knee problem that the most common cause is osteoarthritis now what is osteoarthritis osteoarthritis is the arthritis which happens because of wear and tear because of aging process okay as we age different changes happen in our body happen in our body like there is graying of hair wrinkles in the skin okay 
similarly changes happen in the joints also so this is a normal age related degenerative wear and tear of the joint so the commonest cause of knee pain in our population is osteoarthritis now there can be some other causes also like rheumatoid arthritis or sometimes there can be infection sometimes there can be cartilage injury due to trauma but if we see if you take the whole population then i would say almost 50% of the cause of knee pain in our population is osteoarthritis as we have already understood about knee pain and uh, what are the uh, causes of that why it happens going ahead we uh, listen about osteoarthritis yeah. so what is that and uh, how is it related to knee joints and what are the causes of this happening okay so uh, let me if you allow me can i just uh, share one animated uh, video which will just which will just explain what is osteoarthritis okay okay i think uh, i can't share my screen you can uh, you can do it uh, by clicking on the share screen option yeah but uh, it's showing that host has disabled the attendee screen sharing let me just allow Okay, so uh, by the time you, I'll just explain it. What happens? So what happens that uh, knee joint is made up of two bones, the thigh bone and the leg bone. Okay, so these two bones they move against each other. So there is a layer of cushion in between these two joints so that there is no friction. The joint can move easily. You may call it, we call it cartilage. In common term, people call it grease, oil. So. all sort of, of words but basically it means that there is a cushion between the joint there is a cartilage between the joint which prevents friction which allows smooth motion of the knee joint now as we grow old as we age then this cartilage it starts getting destroyed so what happens then then the bones they become bare and then they rub against each other and that causes pain so that is osteoarthritis now what are the causes of osteoarthritis as we discussed the most common causes age aging process we don't see that in young person usually we see it in persons who are above 50 55 okay, 60 so that is the most common cause now in persons who are overweight there also we see that arthritis is more common why right? because all of our weight is passing through the knee joint okay so naturally if your weight is more 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 weight is passing through your knee joint so that causes more similarly if you have any injury in your childhood or young age okay then slowly slowly the knee gets destroyed and then at the age of 55 60 you start getting arthritis there is also a familial tendency you will see that in some families arthritis is more common that that is also there and in our population in our subset of patients what we see and what we operate almost 70 to 80% of arthritis is seen in females now osteoarthritis is more common in females than in males there can be various reasons maybe because uh, females are initially females were not involved in a lot of uh, exercises and other training programs nowadays of course ladies are uh, as involved in exercises as uh, gents but previously the ladies were not so much involved in exercises so if you have knee deep muscles then that will also lead to osteoarthritis these are the various causes and factors which are responsible for osteoarthritis and uh, symptoms coming on a next portion as we have already understood the causes so what are the symptoms that we should look for in order to understand that the patient is uh, has started showing up symptoms of osteoarthritis yes so the commonest symptom is pain 
Now, initially, the pain starts with movement, or if the patient is climbing stairs, then there is. So it starts with that only. कि मेरे को सीढ़ी चलने में दिक्कत हो रही है, सीढ़ी नहीं चल पा रहा हूँ. Then they will start having pain even while walking on plain surfaces, smooth surfaces. They will feel stiff in the morning. Initially, when they get up in the morning, then the joint is stiff. Then after some time, the joint opens up and the pain goes away. Then as the problem, as the problem increases, then they will start having pain even at rest, even while lying down, even while sleeping, they will start having pain. And then in the last stage, what happens? Then they have deformity. You must have seen, you must have seen some families, some persons who have got bowed legs. The legs are bowed like this. So this is the advanced stage of osteoarthritis. So these are the various symptoms. But the first symptom which starts is pain, pain in the knee joint. Initially while climbing stairs, then while walking, then while getting up. They may also get swelling in the knee joint, stiffness. These all are the symptoms of osteoarthritis. Uh, symptoms you have already explained so well, sir. Like uh, a new person or a layman will understand about it. Uh, please acknowledge us by telling about the treatment. Like what treatment is available uh, for the osteoarthritis of knees? Okay. Now, so osteoarthritis is age-related. You cannot reverse back the time. Okay. आपके बाल अगर सफेद हो गए अपने आप काले नहीं होंगे. ठीक. Same way, once osteoarthritis has happened, you cannot cure it. That means. The cartilage which is gone cannot be regenerated. Back. But we are we are responsible for the pain of the patient. So we should do something which will relieve the pain. So initially, what we do, we start with exercises. As we strengthen the muscles around the knee joint, they take the load. So there is less load passing through the knee joint, and that relieves the pain. Okay, that is the first thing. Secondly, you can use some braces, knee caps. That also supports the knee joint, and that will help the pain. There can be some shoe modifications. Some uh, there are some modification in the sole of the shoes that also relieves the pain. If you are overweight, you should try to reduce your weight okay, with the help of either exercises or dietitian. Now, uh, as the weight decreases. Your pain will also go down. Now, in all these things, so these are all some lifestyle modifications, which is the initial, the first part of treatment. Now, if the lifestyle modification doesn't work, you are still having pain, then we give you medications. So, it can be in form of painkillers, some calcium, vitamin D for increasing the strength of the bone, and there are some medicines which. Uh, protects the cartilage, okay. and we also send the patient for physiotherapy. In physiotherapy, they teach the exercises, they strengthen the muscles, so that too it also helps. Now, sometimes even that doesn't help. In, in that case, only injections are given. So injections uh, are given only when there is acute pain and the patient is not ready for surgery. So in those cases, we give injection. These are all the non-surgical options. So uh, these are the initial stage of treatment. But if the osteoarthritis varies has become very severe, in those cases, the medications and uh, these exercises they don't work that much. In those cases, then we have to do. Never found again. Uh, the effects of the uh, knee joint problems cannot be reversed so easily. Uh, so, what about surgery? Is surgery needed for osteoarthritis? Yes. So we have got very good surgical options for arthritis of the knee joint. And it's not that all knee arthritis patient needs knee replacement. Okay. There are multiple surgical options for. Various grades of arthritis. Now, once 
there is initial phase of arthritis, so sometimes what happens? There is damage to the cartilage. The patient feels that something is getting between the knee joint. My knee is getting blocked. So in that case, we do arthroscopy. It's a keyhole surgery, small, very small incision, like the tip of your pen. And we just put our camera inside. We remove the cartilage which is coming between the joint and the patient. That is a keyhole surgery. Sometimes uh, in early arthritis, suppose a patient is 40 years old and he or she has developed osteoarthritis. Now, at 40 years, you don't want to do knee replacement because knee replacement has got a life of around 25 years. So at 65, you should again require surgery. So in those cases, we do a technique which is called as osteotomy, where we realign the knee joint and that saves our joint for further 10 to 15 years. But if it's a severe osteoarthritis, then in that case, the only surgery which works is total knee replacement, where we replace the knee joint. Uh, but there is always a fear in the patients about the outcomes of the surgery, or uh, will the surgery be successful or not, or what is the success uh, ratio of any of the surgeries, surgery that is being conducted? So how successful is knee replacement surgery? As for your experience. So, total knee replacement is a highly successful surgery if it's done in properly indicated patients. So, every treatment is designed for that particular problem. Now, if you do osteotomy for a patient of severe osteoarthritis, it's not going to work. Similarly, if you do total knee replacement in a properly indicated patients, then it works very, very well. Now, total knee replacement doesn't mean that we take out the original joint and put a new joint. No, it's not like that. It's the capping of the joint. Like what happens when you uh, you have a teeth problem? You just rub it and put a cap over it. Same way, when the cartilage is destroyed, we just give shape to it and put a metal cap over it. So, as the diseased cartilage is removed, so the pain is also removed. Now, it gives excellent pain relief in patients. The success rate is more than 95%. Uh, we don't have much data from our country because the statistics are not so good. But in the US, almost 9 to 10 lakh knee replacements are done every year. This rate of more than 95%. So uh, here the pain relief is quite good. Uh, the patient starts walking from second day onwards, though he or she may use a walker for uh, initial three to four weeks. And as with physiotherapy, the uh, strength increases. So if the walker is also uh, left behind, and then they just walk without any support. They can climb stairs, they can go for uh, go outside shopping and to temples. So it gives a very pain relief. Uh, replacement is not the only thing which works. Along with knee replacement, the patient also has to get involved in doing proper exercises. It is done properly and if the patient follows all the instructions, then it gives a very great gratifying result. Thank you so much, sir. We have uh, almost answered all the questions related to knee replacement, osteoarthritis, related to knee joints and pains. Uh, we hope that you will uh, soon give us time and uh, acknowledge us and inspire us and will share the knowledge on other topics soon. Uh, we'll soon declare the time in for our next session. But before we leave, uh, I want to share the details with all of you once again. You can always log on to www.businessmultiservices.com for anything related to your investment needs, be it insurance, mutual funds, any sort of in, uh, investment. We are consultant for wealth creation group of companies, as is concern. For health and supplements, we have our partner, LiveWell INC. You can uh, 
see our products on our website as well as all uh, online commercial websites as Amazon Health Card and any other website regarding that. For your uh, education needs for various courses, we have our online and offline platform both. Please don't forget to visit us or give us a chance to uh, serve you better. So wealth uh, riches multi services from health to harmony. Thank you so much, Professor Shekhar Tivasa, for joining us once again. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you, Dilmit. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.